Soldering versus push to connect. Guess how much time you can save. I used to be completely against the idea of push to connect. The reason being, every time we got called out to a house that had major leakage, well, we almost always found another brand of push to connect fittings and they were leaking horribly. The problem is, I don't think that they teach people the right way to put these things together. They make it complicated and the problem is they have no warranty behind it. So if you put it in and it starts leaking, guess what? Are you telling us that you can arrest the guy for being a plumber? Get out of here! Get in there, plumber! Today, what I'm gonna show you is how fast I can put together an assembly with push to connect fittings. And then I'm gonna show you how long it takes to make a solder joint so you can compare the time and see what needs to be done. Now this video is sponsored by Quick Fitting. So I love what Quick Fitting is working on, the things they're doing, and they're constantly ahead of everybody else. Hang around to the end, I'm gonna show you how much time it can save you, but also I'm gonna tell you about their warranty that if you don't know about it, it's something that will blow your mind. Save time. We're gonna go ahead and do a solder joint. So we're gonna do it the exact same way. Seven and five eighths. And then eight and a quarter. And if you work for a company and they don't let you solder. What the f Larry, the last time I made a video about push to connect and press fittings, I had people reach out to me and say, the company that I work for will not even allow us to solder. They're not even allowed to carry fittings, torches, anything like that on their truck. If your company doesn't let you solder, do me a favor, leave me a comment, let me know why. Now, right about now, if I was using push to connect, if I was using the quick fitting right here, I would literally be pushing it together and I would be done. Anything I do from here forward is really how much longer it's taken me to make one joint. Because now what I'm doing is the extra things you have to do for a solder joint. A little bit more prep work on the pipe. Now both my pieces of pipe are prepped. Now I've got to clean the inside of my fitting. Now one thing I do, whether I'm out in the field, prefabbing, wherever, if I've got a piece of pipe like this, I want to turn it just a hair. See how loose that is? I'm going to turn it just a hair and squeeze my fitting just enough to lock it down. See, now it doesn't move. And the reason I do that, I want to make sure everything stays true and square as it's heating up and expanding and getting ready to accept solder. So, let me grab my torch and we'll be ready to go. I'm gonna wipe this down right before I solder it to remove any excess flux. Torch is out and good to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is get my safety glasses on. Now, in the field, I probably wouldn't use latex gloves. I'm not gonna wipe anything. I'm not gonna do anything. If I do, I've got my rag here. But I would have on either jersey gloves, leather gloves, something like that to protect my hand. If I was working on a fabrication, I might put a level on it, make sure everything is true, square, and plumb. But I'm just gonna solder here. I always start on the bottom. I may heat up my pot to expand it to heat. It expands, cold contracts. Get it hot enough that when I put it on top, it draws all the way around. Then do my vertical. So imagine how much time we saved between the point where we'd have just pushed it together to the point that we kept cleaning the copper, 
heated it up, soldered it. Now we've got to wait to let it cool down. There's some different things that we may want to do here. Wipe it down, clean it up, let it cool. Remember one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. I was working on Republic Tower in downtown Dallas and I was in front of a header and literally I had live water up to it. I had a valve just like we've got here where I could turn on the water, turn off the water. We had rebuilt this entire header, had the valve coming out, had the piece coming out, had soldered everything, was going through soldering caps on. Soon as I soldered my last cap, I looked up and realized the valve was there and I hit it and turned it on. That solder was still hot. It had air in the line. It blew it off and water started spraying. Guys are gonna save us a lot of time. So I'm gonna mark. First cut is seven and five eighths. And then eight and a quarter. Now, while I've got it in a vise or something, I'm gonna go ahead and get my end ready. Now, I love this piece by quick fitting. This is actually their facing tool. Now this quick fitting prep tool is not available yet. It is a prototype, but it will be coming soon. It'll mark it and it'll also bevel that outside edge. Now, it doesn't bevel it a lot. It just takes all the sharp edges off, but you can see I've got a mark here on it now. And I can use that to compare it to the other ones to see if they're all pushed in the same distance. Now I'm turning this around because I know I still need to work on this end. Okay, so my first two pieces are done right there. I'm gonna make up the end. Okay, so I'm cleaning the end on this one. And clean the end on this one. So both these are done. Now, I like to ream the inside of mine, so it's just something I'm gonna go ahead and do. Why, thank you, Pepper Boy! All right, so I have cut, cleaned, and marked both ends. So the first piece, I've already got cut and done. Put it together. The last step, Cut, clean, mark, and push. So there we are, my first piece is done. Guys, we teamed up with Quick Fitting because we think the product is great. We know their warranties are better than other push to connect fittings. Other push to connect fittings have a 25 year warranty. Quick Fitting has a 75 year warranty. And if this fitting does every leak and you've registered that you've used quick fitting on that job, they will pay for your labor to fix it and the repairs that need to be done to the house. Check out their warranty. I'll make sure we put a link to it down below. If you like this video about saving money on plumbing, you're definitely gonna like the next one.